Heidi Borchers has been crafting and creating all sorts of wonderful things for as long as she can remember. When she was a kid, she used to tear paper into tiny little pieces and keep them in her dresser, dresser drawer. I think we should have all known that then that would lead to an interesting creative path. Heidi's here today to share a paper mache leaf tray. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks a lot. Now you shared my, my secret. <laughs> yes, for, for many years. I actually remember as a child, probably like four years old, tearing little pieces of paper in a pile while I was watching television. And my dad kind of yelling at me saying, what are you doing? Little did he know what I was actually doing. This project is probably perfect to show what I was going to do in my life. And this is paper mache. And you know, paper mache has been around for hundreds of years. And um, this one, actually, this tray I made probably about eight years ago. I made it for a, um, a magazine. And also, we had a, another television show, which a lot of people didn't ever get to see that show. But Tiffany, I'm going to let you put up my, um, my first slide. And um, I'll get my table ready. And this is the paper mache. And let me get that out of the way so I can see. And, and also, Tiffany, if you could just show the other one really quick, too. There, I think there's two. Um, the one is a tray, and the, the one is, um, is like a sconce. There it is. They're both the same technique. It just, decides, it just depends what you want to do. You can change the size of your leaf. You can change the shape of your leaf. And also, how many of you have actually even seen all those um, trays, those metal trays that you see in like, um, I've seen them in like World Market and, um, and different um, home um, decor places. You can do the same thing just for pennies. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need cardboard and you're going to need some newspaper, some glue, and I'm using, um, today I'm using the um, Aline Packy Glue, and I'm also going to be using the um, Aline collage page because I'm going to collage some papers on it. So the first thing, a lot of you might not know that there's actually a grain. Newspaper and um, brown bag have a grain. So I use my ruler and I just tear it. I like my pieces to be torn. I like that edge that goes on a lot smoother. So just by tearing, now if you're gonna if you're gonna tear the opposite way, See, it won't, it won't tear straight. So find the grain and then just tear your pieces and it works really well. And that would be the same thing if you were going to use um, brown bag. And that's what I did on this first one to kind of get started. I did this yesterday and I covered it with brown bag. And you can kind of see all the strips. And that kind of gives me just a little bit more um, stability in the cardboard. But the next thing I'm going to do, I have all my little pieces of paper torn here. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to put some I'm going to put some glue out here. And I'm going to brush my glue onto my piece of paper. And I like to do it where I you can see that? Yeah. I like to do it where it's underneath the paper. And I like to put some onto my piece. And you won't believe how much the glue will make this hard and stable. It's, it's just amazing. It's almost like it is metal when you're done. Go around the edge here and go over the edge. Your next piece that you're going to put on, you're going to kind of overlap it. Put some glue on. Put my thing out there. And go over and go over the edge. A little bit more, and obviously in my 10 minutes, I, I'm not going to be able to do the whole thing, but this will give you the idea. And I did the same thing with, with the brown bag. First of all, I put the brown bag on and did the same thing, and now I'm putting the newspaper on. And putting 
it over the edge. So you would cover the whole leaf just like that. And see how I cover it like that. Now I have one that I already did. And the next step you're going to do is I have. I use this a lot. This is um, the cotton clothesline cord. So what I did is down the center, I glued the cotton clothesline cord. That's what I did. I'm like, keep, keep on sticking. That's what I did here. It's a, it's a rope, but I really like, and I get it from the hardware store. I get it from like Ace. I, I use it in my jewelry. I use it in a lot of my um, things that I do, but I just glued it down. And I saw just quickly when I was looking back at the chat room, which is hard to do. This is the glue that I've used to put the paper on and to put the, um, to put the cording on. So at this point, let me show you this. Here's the one that I made, and you can kind of see here the, um, the cording right here. So either I would cover this up with more newspaper, or I can start to cover it with paper. Now, this, like I said, is, was made about eight years ago. And there's a really important lesson to learn from me is you don't use tissue paper that's going to fade. Make sure that all your, your paper, it made a really pretty color, but all your paper should be painted before you put it on. So I have a lot of tissue paper here that I painted. And I just, all I've done is just, I've used any kind of acrylic paint. I love these, um, these wonderful golden, Golden has some wonderful air interferences that I love. And also, Tulip has wonderful pearl dimensional paint. These all work really, really good to, um, to use on your, t your paper. You can use tissue or you can use the, um, like the packing paper. You know, you get that um, packing paper and just put, just put uh, paint all over it. So then you're going to do the same thing. Let me look at my time here. Okay. And you're going to tear your paper, and now you're going to go back to using the, you're going to use the Collage Podge um, by Duncan. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of that out here. You're going to take your brush, and it's kind of the same thing as you did the glue, but remember, we've changed. We're using the Collage Podge. And And you're going to put it underneath. You're going to put it underneath the, the tissue. I have a little bit of black on my brush. I'm not very good with my brushes. I kind of abuse my brushes. And then you're going to put it under, and then you're going to put it over. You see, there's my first piece. Now we're going to take another piece here that's a little bit heavier. Some of this packing paper, and we're going to go over this cording so that we get that nice shape in there. And I'm going to go over. Make sure that you kind of press that in. If you don't get enough glue, just go back in. And like that. So there I started putting it around the cording. As you can see. And you just continue with different colors. Whatever color you want to try. Now when you're completely done, let me get this one more piece here. There we go. When you're completely done, there's different things that you can do to finish it. Actually, your your um, collage page is going to make the finished coat. It, as long as you put it under the tissue, you put it over the tissue, the collage page is what's going to seal it. So you don't need to have an extra sealer. Unless you want something like really shiny, um, you can use like a spray sealer. Up here along the, the vein, I use gold leaves. So I just I just bought my gold leaf um, at the craft store, and then I have there was an adhesive for it, and then this is the same thing using um, 
glue and the gold, the, the gold leaf to get my little accent. And that's how you do a paper mache leaf.